Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Triangle Strategy walkthrough. Um, so I noticed one thing on, uh, you know, it's just loading up my game here. And um, uh, apparently, so Art Dink is one of the uh, developers for the game, you know, alongside Square Enix. And uh, that just really made me remember uh, a very, very old game that I used to play by Art Dink called uh, A-Train. Um, I mean... God, almost 30 years ago now. Uh, there was a <laughs> one of my earliest uh, hospital stays. Uh, I I was down in the, the children's hospital in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and um, they had a uh, they had a library there. And in the library, they had a Mac. It was an old Mac, and um, you know I uh, I ended up spending a lot of time in that library <laughs> playing a train and that just uh, as the game was loading up it really made me you know kind of remember uh playing there so many years ago but yeah um also you know art dink apparently and i <clears throat> i didn't i didn't realize it but they um you know par are partly developed uh uh ogre battle and um was it oh the, there's a tactics ogre as well um, which were, you know, older games I've played, um, you know, yeah, I, same deal, you know, b a billion years ago. Um, but that makes sense, right, that, um, you know, they can, they'd, they'd get into something like, uh, like this, right, you know, uh, after having already developed a couple of kind of, you know, tactical base, and that's, you know, that's not their only, um, you know, tactical base games, but those are the ones that I've played. So anyways, alright, let's get started. Um, I need to load up this save here. Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the Kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the Earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. The first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. Welcome to Castle Wolford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son, as I recall. Sarah Noah Wolfort, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esfrost. 
My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy on the boy, my lady. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance? Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field. I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes? I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father. Okay, uh, so Lord Dragon could be Dragon. Lord Dragon. Could be anyone. I suppose this is as good an opportunity as any to speak with the common folk. Alright, so here is uh, exploration. Uh, the flow of the game comprises multiple phases. In addition to story scenes and battles, there will also be an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms, and terrain features that makes review and battle and more. Um, press while holding B to perform a dash. Uh, to end the exploration phase and continue with the story, press start. Okay, cool. Since that you may have questions regarding this joint mining venture, allow me to enlighten you. Combining the expertise and manpower of Norzelia's three nations, this mine will unearth the newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will prove beneficial for all parties, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragon's knowledge of ironworking is peerless. We think of none more suited to oversee the mine's development. And tasked with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord, may it be a joyous occasion for all. Eager to hear your speech, and even more eager to see you triumph at the tourney. Oh yes, indeed. It's this little thing. It's very weird. Right. Let's break into this person's house. <laughs> I heard tell Prince Roland is shirking his duties at the castle once again. Thank heavens that shiftless child isn't in line for the crown. Maybe it's because he's not in line for the crown, though, that he engages in extracurricular activities. That's my theory. Right, nothing inside there. <clears throat> so it looks like this bucket is, uh, is it gleaming. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so there's an item. Uh, HP recovery pellet. <clears throat> um, let's talk to this person. To see the peace we enjoy now, one would never think that but 30 years ago our realm was engulfed in war. The salt iron war seems not but a far off nightmare now. I just noticed, look at this, there's a little stream here right in front of these houses that seems maybe not optimal. <laughs> um, all right, so here's another HP recovery pellet. Uh, here's Anna, uh, by your request, Benedict and I shall take part in the tourney. May we bring victory to House Wolfheart. Indeed. Alright. 
Marvels of Norzalia Volume 8 to notes. Uh, you will find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they help you better understand Norzalia and its history. Uh, view the notes you've collected any time by selecting War Chronicle and Notes from the main menu. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I got more. Okay, well, apparently there was another one in front of this uh, cabinet. Greetings, my lord. My friends and I are playing hide and seek. Oh, okay. Looks like that might. Yeah, that's probably it for this building. Um, let's check these notes. War Chronicle notes. <clears throat> right up the Norzalia River and past a handful of craggy mountains lies the Esfrost, Esfrosty capital. Uh, despite the blizzards off swirling about it, the city itself is orderly and well maintained, and the people who dwell there are spirited and undaunted. By working together, they've managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm. It is this fortitude that has allowed S. Frost to grow into a nation to be reckoned with. S. Frost's iron stone was carved out of a rocky mountainside, which is unusual but fitting for a land with countless iron mines within its borders. It functions as both a castle and an iron factory. Yeah, that looks really cool too. That, um, I gotta be honest, that reminds me of, uh, oh my gosh, what's the name of that game? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to blank now. Archage, jeez. Um, yeah, there's one city that, that just really reminds me of. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. It's been a while since I played. Anyways, uh, skilled artisans in the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle where they must, or where they mass produce ironworks and engage in technological research. Thanks to an enormous forge as large as, and as hot as the mountain of a volcano within the castle, they're able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for Esfrost's pride and joy, the Black Irons. On the castle's ramparts is arguably the crowning achievement of Esfrost the Ironworking, a gigantic bell larger than the largest dragon. I cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast. Each day the bell tolls the time for the people of the capital. It is so loud it can be heard all throughout the mountains and has even been known to trigger avalanches on distant slopes. Well, that wouldn't, that like, if it's that loud, wouldn't it like deafen the people that are like too close to it? <laughs> All right, anyways, so that's it for uh, Marvels of Norzalia Volume 8. Uh, moving on to 12 here. So there is no site in the realm as impressive as the Hyzantian capital. After braving the vast desert, the first thing a visitor to this great city sees is a wall so huge does not look like it could have been made by human hands, the goddess's shield. Pass through the gate and you will emerge into a thriving metropolis of believers. Just beyond the streets lies the huge calm waters of the source. Unbelievable as it may seem, the city and the wall encircle the entirety of the great lake where all of Norzalia's salt originates. Wow, oh, okay, so it's like, the, it's like the Great Salt Lake, is that right? Anyways, uh, in the center of the lake towers a mountain-like statue of the goddess, an enduring symbol of the holy state's faith. Indeed, after beholding how his hand could not only survive in the middle of an inhospitable desert, but thrive, even an unbeliever such as myself started to think that unbeliever or non-believer, anyways, uh, that statue might actually be the goddess incarnate. <clears throat> in the palace in the city center lives the Hierophant, who... They say, here is the voice of the goddess of salt herself. I imagine such a voice would be just as majestic and calm as the city she watches over. Okay, cool. Well, that's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. A bit of, you know, history on uh, those two nations anyway. Oh, hi, kitty. Um, it's actually not looking like there's anything in this house. Okay, well, let's keep going. Keep exploring. Oh, there's been nothing amiss, my lord. Another quite quiet day. Alright, who's this? Playing hide and seek till Da comes home. I need to find a place to hide in quick. Alright, oh, okay, so this is, um, <clears throat> you know, one of the, um, I forget, conviction conversations, it looks like. 
Uh, let's see here. I want my uh, so take care not to hurt yourself. Your father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. One of my favorite games. Barrels were always my favorite place. Places to hide, and it takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. I wonder if these all represent, um, or if they're always the same, right? Like if the bottom option is always, uh, uh, what would that have been? God, now I'm, I'm remember, or I'm forgetting what uh, the three different. I know morality is one of them, right? And then, <laughs> Jesus, yeah, it's uh, slipping away. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go with this option uh, in the middle. <clears throat> uh, barrels. I would have never thought of that, my lord. <laughs> They'll never find me now. I speak from experience. They won't. However, they may be even better hiding places to be found around town. Right, my lord. I'll find a hiding place no one's ever thought of before. Okay. Yeah, what are these weird symbols on the ground? They're like... This supposed to be like manholes? Oh, we've got another HP recovery pellet over here. Right, let's talk to Frederica. It's just like him to gallivant off with Neri, a word of farewell. Uh, still, I suppose this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Sarah, though? Oh, yes. All right. So, again, here's another conversation about uh, convictions. Uh, so, to know a town, you must take time to relish her company. That's what Eridor told me in perhaps more colorful words. Uh, it is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at uh, the expense of fair trade. Oh, um, liberty is one of them, right? That really seems like this would be a, like a liberty uh, option. And then uh, Wolford is nestled safely behind the castle walls. It is a town of, at peace and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. Yeah, I don't know what that would, what that would be. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I really don't know what I want to go with here. in this top option. It just it seems fun. <laughs> I haven't known Eridor for long, but those words are undeniably his. Perhaps I ought to take a page out of his book, as I've done regrettably little relishing since I arrived. You needn't push yourself, Frederica. Time is something we do not lack. Once matters have settled, I'll, I will give you a tour of Wolford myself. Thank you, Sereno. I very much look forward to that. Alright, let's head on into this building. 300 of whatever this uh, currency is. Alright, next up here. Let's head down this way. The most esteemed personages from each nation will be attending this ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of politics. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peer must not be wasted, my lord. Indeed. Right, so there's another HP recovery pellet. And that's looking like that's going to be it for this building as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, here's Eridor. Uh, I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. Uh, a lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in wide-eyed wonder. Ooh, okay. I can scarce remember the last time Glenbrook was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory, which will be known as the fiercest in all Norzalia? I mean, to be there when history is made. And it's not looking like there's anything else in this building, so let's get on out. Uh, this town is prosperous and its people have faith in their lord, an impressive achievement by my experience. You are too kind, Lord Dragon. Uh, my apologies, but you are 
Apologies should mine, or should be mine. I'm Sarah Noah Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. <laughs> of course, I appreciate the consideration. I'd like to explore the town a while longer, but rest assured I shall be punctual in my arrival. Ah, uh, I must make ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simone will uh, spark inspiration. Okay. Uh, I think that is it for speaking with people. Yeah, actually, that looks like that's it for, ex for, for exploration here. Yeah, not really seeing anything else. Can I check this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I think that was it. Let's, um... Yeah, let's bail. Alright, so we're pressing start to end the exploration. I think it will begin soon. Or, will begin soon. Lord Dra uh, Dragon and I had best not arrive late. You better not, you jerk. At the banquet. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals, and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt, and we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that, though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. 
Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me, then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, Father. <laughs> All right, well, what would be, a, or it wouldn't be a square uh, game if religion wasn't, um, you know, basically the, uh, the basis for conflict in, the, in their world. Um, <laughs> I am going to, uh, I'm going to save here and um, call it a day on this one uh, because I'm basically out of time already. So, <laughs> uh, as always, hope the gun was helpful and thank you for watching.